Welcome back to another APS Yu-Gi-Oh! Quiz. Where you guys submit quiz questions for us to answer. This is my first time doing this, so... This is my second. I lost to Paul in the last one. So. Oh, you suck. There's 15 questions. 15. Whoever and we gets have... the most wins. What do we win? Pride. That'd be, we have first, to... that'd be a first for you, huh? We have to answer from memory, mm. and if we both are stumped, we can agree to get it in a multiple choice form. Can I phone a friend? No. Damn. Your friend is you. This is the Duelist Kingdom Battle City quiz. So both or one or the other? I guess both. So d from Duelist Kingdom all the way to Battle City. So, But it sounds like it's anime related, so... Uh, Hopefully. This quiz comes to us from Pricefield Punk, by the way. Pricefield Jesus. Punk. Yeah. If you love, of course, if you like this quiz that we do here today, you can submit your own quizzes you'd like for us to try in the future. Just hit the link in the description. Question one. What is the very first monster summoned by Pegasus against Yugi in episode two in the battle through the TV? <laughs> the, first <laughs> the first monster? monster? The first monster that um, Pegasus summons. If you remember I, episode oh, two. Against, remember? against Yugi. Against Yugi. Oh my gosh, I only remember one of the monsters. Okay, so I'm not gonna talk through my thing because it may help you. Oh man, come on. But you should know I'm not picking multiple choice for the first question. That's fair. That's yeah, fair. I don't want to do multiple choice unless you absolutely have to. How many to. times can we do the multiple choice? Just As once? many times as you want, it's just how many okay. times your pride can take. Okay. So, you know. Oh, the first monster. The what first monster. It? I know what it looks like, but I can't think of the name. I know exactly what I it remember looks like. one monster, and if it's not this, well, too bad. I can't think of the name. <laughs> I don't remember the first one, but this is the only amount. I'm writing the one monster I remember. My spelling is atrocious. All right. Way. All right. Reveal on three. One, two, three. I put skull. The there. faceless mage. The answer is Dragon Piper. Ah, it was Dragon Piper. Yeah. Now, Illusion's Faceless Mage was one of the multiple choice. It was one of the monsters. Uh, but I, I already kind of knew it wasn't this one. I just knew Jesus. he summoned it. Okay, so that is no points for uh, either of you. Uh, bad start. Bad start. Yeah, I think I remember this situation it because like Yugi summons Kamori Dragon and, and attacks, it. and then it's like, oh, it's the Dragon Piper, and lets me yeah. take control or whatever. Because that's because Pegasus introduces a bunch of BS rules that never show back up in the show. What attack point value were the Harpy Lady Sisters reduced to after the effect of Time Wizard? What the free during episode <laughs> six of My versus Joey? Uh, this is oh, the second geez. time today I want to kill Paul. I didn't write this quiz, by the way. <laughs> If you want to kill what anyone, what the hell? Price field the punk. Time wizard. Can All right, we I gotta get answer. multiple choice? No, nope, no, nope, no. Nope. Mm -mm. Okay. How? Okay. Well, well, I mean, Be because if I don't know, I know damn sure you don't know. We gonna suffer together. We're gonna have no points at the end. Then we'll just be here with just us. Wait, Larry, do you even have a clue? Nope. Have you written anything down? Yes. Okay. Does it have to be exact? Yeah. I mean, what else? <laughs> All could it right, be? there. I wrote something. I did too. All right, y'all ready? I hate no. I can't stand this. I'm a zero. Six fifty. The answer is thirteen hundred. Oh, that was way higher than what I thought. I mean, <sighs> I think it's because, and I don't remember this. My mindset was, was half in it, and then I just went a little bit lower. I think it lower. was. It was Harpy Lady Sisters, though. Yeah, it's Harpy, so Harpy, it's like Harpy the, Sisters. only 1950. It's 1950. Yeah, I think it got like a field power bonus or something, oh, and then I, I couldn't. I was like, I don't know. And it got know. reduced. I don't it's know. Zero. Cause I, I know, because they were old and decrepit. So far, so bad. Yeah, it's pretty bad. <laughs> Larry, let us do multiple choice for the- if, All right. If I feel like it. If you've been on the fence about trying Raid, it's time to hop on in because you can start the game with a free legendary champion and two epic champs. And because for the very first time, players are able to win real IRL rewards from gift cards to game consoles. All you have to do is participate in the Spring Hunt mini game. After you've used my link to download Raid, head to springhunt.playerium Dot com and enter a user ID, you can start searching for items in the Mistwood. Once completed, you can win anything from in-game loot like legendary champions or skill tomes to real-life prizes like a gaming console or Amazon gift cards with a total value of $10,000. And that's not all. 
This month, Raid is starting Community Weeks, a six week long celebration of the Raid community. Get ready for activities and rewards for both existing players and new players. As part of the program, Raid is giving away legendary champion Chronicler Adeline after seven days. Make sure to stick around for the rest of the period for even more rewards. If you haven't started playing yet, then what are you waiting for? Click my link in the description or scan my QR code to get insane bonuses available only via my link. You will immediately get a huge starter pack with an epic champion, Tyrell, and you'll get another starter pack after reaching level 25 that includes an epic Rector Draft. Don't forget that all these champions are available after downloading via my link or QR code only. After downloading the game via my link, use the promo code SPRINGHUNT24 to get silver and more. Come find me in game and join my clan and we'll be legends together. And I'll see you on the battlefield. What was the reason given by the Paradox Brothers for why Black Skull Dragon was unable to move in the labyrinth? So when Yugi and Joey duel against the Paradox Brothers, what reason did they give for why Black Skull Dragon could not move in the labyrinth? There's a specific thing that they said to describe it. I can't quote them, but I wrote something. I'll be somewhat lenient on this one if you're in like the ballpark. I'm probably not, but I tried my best. Okay. All, All right. right. One, two, three. It was too big, it wouldn't he, fit. He couldn't fly through the maze. Um. Its wings were too. The wide. answer is it's a no-fly zone. Now, so that's me. So I'll give Larry that yeah. point. Yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Yeah, he says it's a no-fly zone. Because I remember that. Because I, I remember watching it and didn't th think it made sense because there was no roof on the maze. So I was yeah. like, why can't he? But then they were like, oh, he can't fly through the thing. But it, he got legs. But whatever. Ha <laughs> ha. Hey, okay, one point for Larry. Hey, you got one. You got one. Question four. After Bones powered up his zombie monsters with pumpkin. Which monster had the second highest attack point? Oh, shit. Jeez. It's um, a zombie monster. No shit. That I mean, uh, can we do multiple choice? For th for this one, yes. This person okay. actually did not give multiple choice. Oh, so. look, I hate you, Larry. <laughs> I hate you so much. Yeah, they actually I, didn't I give multiple choice. I can't stand you. <laughs> oh, jeez. Okay, let's think. Okay. Although, I, I'm, you know, I'm going to make up multiple choice. Because I because I can actually do it a really a really easy one for this. Is it A zombie mammoth, B clown zombie, C armored zombie, or D spirit reaper? All right. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, three. I put clown zombie. I put B clown zombie as well. The answer is armored zombie. Oops. Ah. Was that the samurai one? Oh uh, yeah, it looks kind of like a samurai. Yeah, that's yeah. the other one I was thinking of. You guys are really bad at this. I was thinking of, well, I was thinking of clown zombie and dragon zombie. I, I, was it's zombie. Not I, get any I figured it was I forgot about dragon zombie. Was I was like, thinking of clown zombie, zombie and the army. This one. person's quiz is really hard, by the way. <laughs> yeah, I, I noticed. Say. Number five. What's the first monster destroyed during Bandit Keith and Joey's duel? Can we get multiple choice? Sure, I'll humor you. Okay, the multiple choice questions are. Is it A, Armored Lizard, B, Battle Warrior, C, Mizaki the Legendary Swordsman, or D, Guiltia the D Knight? Mm. I'm done. Give me the list again? No. First monster destroyed? The first monster destroyed in the duel. Alright. Not uh, changing answers at all? Gonna be a all bit. right. I'm gonna, I'm gonna give this one a try. Yeah. Alright, y'all ready? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. One, two, Three. I put guilty. I put guilty as well. The answer is battle warrior. Oh, okay. That, I changed my answer for Oh, you had battle warrior? I did have uh, battle I mean, warrior. I feel like that I would have picked battle warrior because I don't know, but it's like it's a weak monster. It so is. the first it, it monster is. destroyed. But it I couldn't will. be too weak. But that's I, why I didn't pick armor. I, I remember guilty of the uh, D knight because I thought it was cool when we <clears> summoned it, but I remember it didn't do anything. I couldn't remember if guilty it was a fusion or not. Technically, he is a fusion. But, okay. You know, Joey but had Joey to think about summoning him. fusions yeah. just because. Flame Swords. Yeah. All right. Question six. During the final duel between Pegasus and Yugi, what card does Pegasus use to counter the Spellbinding Circle? He counted the Spellbinding Circle? I didn't know Yugi played Spellbinding Circle. I didn't know he did. Um, um, Yugi played Spellbinding Circle. What card does Pegasus use to counter it? He's a specific card? Yeah, I mean, there's a specific card to counter the Spellbinding Circle. Alright, I'm gonna write some shit. Here we go. I will give you one hint. Do not. Okay. Yeah, Larry says he's got it. Alright, I'm ready. I think I have it. Alright. All right. One, two, 
three. I put Magic Jammer. I put Trap Jammer. I had Magic Jammer, but I Oh, wait. It. It's a spell by the circle. <laughs> well, we well, own the anime that it could actually, like, there's, like, a legitimate yeah. argument that it'd be a Magic well, card. It's probably The answer trap. is Trap Displacement. Ooh. Oh, okay. Which is not even a real card. It's just only. Oh, we were. Oh, wow. we were. We were doing. How were you? We were doing. That was the hint I was gonna give. I was gonna be like, it's not a TCG. Like you really, you really would have messed this up. Then I would have known what to just, put. Yeah, we wouldn't have. We would have to know what it's called. <laughs> <laughs> That's really it. I, I can tell I'm not getting any points on this quiz. <laughs> I, I, it's not good. This is bad. This is really bad. I should have been studying. Studying. Anime. Oh, this is fun. watching the okay. anime. <laughs> this one, you're gonna get one point for each correct answer that you give. It's more than Question seven. Oh, no. When Bakura confronts a defeated Pegasus, what three cards does he use to symbolize Pegasus's true nature? <sighs> Bakura pulls out three cards and says that these describe your true nature. This is after Pegasus has lost to Yugi and he's sulking in the castle. And Bakura shows up to take his mini and I. He shows three different cards, and I'll give you one point for each of the cards that you can guess. I'm done. All I got is one. There's no uh, multiple choice, so. I couldn't even begin. Literally no idea. This is a very like obscure kind of episode. I, 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 those... I, I remember it, but. I, I remember it's like, the episode after Yugi beat Pegasus. So it's just like a lot of winding down, falling action kind yeah. of stuff. I don't even know. What, I, I I gotta pass. I can't. I don't know. You what gotta to guess write. something. I don't even know. Literally what to put write. a card. I mean, it could be wrong, but what sort of card would Bakura have or show? Mm, I'm not done yet. I may have one more. This is a really tough quiz. I, this honestly, is, this, this is, is a this rough is difficult. one. I, uh, I thought I knew is, anime. That I don't. Know I thought anime. the last quiz was hard. This is way harder. Hey, hey, hey. All right, I wrote some cards. All right. Okay. Go ahead. I'm fairly sure I know one. one of them. I don't know the two, other two. Yeah. Three. I have Doma, the Angel of Silence. I had Dark Necrofear, Change of Heart, and Ghost with a Grudge. Larry gets one point for Duma, the Angel of Silence. The other two cards were the Happy Lover card and the Mask of Darkness. Uh, all right. Because Doma, the Angel of Silence was the last one. That's the only reason I remember. Question eight. During the Legendary Heroes arc, what was the prize card and card needed to cross the desert? Shit. What desert are we talking about? It was about? when they were stuck in the cyber realm. In Kaiba's like virtual game. With the big five. With the big five the first time. They needed a certain card to cross the desert. Multiple choice, because I have no idea. Sure, multiple, multiple choice. choice. Okay. I'm thinking of a car, but I, I'm thinking of a car from Hunter Hunter, but I know that's Is not. Is it A, Yato Karo, B, Hio Sube, C, He's making this shit up. <laughs> Milus Radiant, and D, Niwa Tori. Okay, let's go. Yep. One, two, three. D. I think it was Niwatori. You are both right. It was Niwatori. Okay. First point for First Alex. First point, Alex. <sighs> yeah, Niwatori, is that like it's the, big it's the fat bird desert thing. Yeah, taper it's thing. It's a fat bird. That bird, thing. yeah. It's like a chocobo. Essentially. It's like a very a fat chocobo. Fat chocobo. Question nine. During Battle City, the first rare hunter has a laptop of data ranking duelists levels by stars oh, no. for everybody shown who are the only three duelists with a four star ranking it's in battle city first rare hunter right yeah there's a rare hunter he's on his laptop he's looking at the rankings of every duelist they can be one through five and there are three duelists who get four star do we rankings. have to get all three or do we get that's a great that's a very good question <laughs> i'll give you a point for each duelist you get but you can only guess three okay hmm. You can probably guess which duelists don't get a four-star ranking, and maybe which duelists get a five-star ranking. Oh, there's there are, five stars? It's one through five stars. That's the hint I'll give oh. you. Oh, so no. which duelists get a four-star ranking? Yeah, there are three duelists on his screen that have a four-star ranking. And But the ranking is one through five. The rankings are one through five. So like, this duelist has a rank two, this is a rank five, this is a rank three. There are three duelists who got a rank four, and they're shown on screen. This this is a nightmare. All right, I wrote my. Three. I can give a hint if you guys want like a hint. There's nope. no multiple choice. So. Nope. <laughs> I, All right. So if one, you guys are ready. Two. Wait. Hold on. Wait. What? 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 I am getting slaughtered on camera. You didn't say this is a snuff film. I mean, they are like duelists from the anime. So. All right. Go ahead. All right. One, yeah. two, three. I wrote Kaiba, Yugi, and Mai. I got Mai, Weevil, and uh, Mako. 
Oh, okay. I like the thought process. There. Larry gets three points. That's all three of them. My Weevil and Mako. You get one point for my. Because I, I wrote down Rex, but I thought Kaiba would have ranked Rex lower because Rex lost to Joey. And Weevil only lost to yu gi -Oh. I wasn't sure because I don't know who made the ranking list. Kaiba would have yeah. made it. Kaiba designed it. Well, you it. said a rare hunter had the laptop. But yeah, so I thought he was hacking into like the network it. or whatever, oh. something like that. Okay. okay. Well. I thought maybe. <laughs> Kaiba wouldn't rank Yugi at his highest, but I also didn't know. I, oh, I, I didn't know. Question 10. The first time Yugi plays the dark magician girl, how does he summon her? How? Just describe what he does to summon her. Oh, goodness. So it's not about who he uses it against. It's no. how he, how he got yeah. the card out. How does dark magician girl get onto the field? This is a fun question. I'm mad. This one... It's like a... There's a, I a know it. That's what annoys question. me. I know Do you? it. I've seen it. I've seen it too many times. I know it. I just I can't pull the memory. All right, screw it. All right, locked in. I know this isn't locked. I know tribute sum is not the answer, but no. All, All right. right, one, two, three. Uh, magical dimension. Bond, teacher, and student. The answer is. Dark magic curtain. Curtain. Uh, ah! Yeah. I thought it was the box that, but I was like, no, he used yeah, that's, that. That's against, he used that later. Like Kyber and some duel. No, he used it against Arcana too. Oh yeah, the Mystic, mystic that's Box. That's what yeah. I thought it was okay. Mystic Box. I was like, no, because Dark Magician oh. came out of the box. Not I only Magician remember Magic either. Curtain because like I remember when she summoned this like the curtain at first, and then she kind of. Like Yugi's like, it allows me to summon any kind of Dark Magician. Not yeah, because Arcana's like, you don't have any more Dark Magician. No, He's yeah, like, talk, ha. Like, talk like Arcana. I can't do it. Question 11. What fake name does Merrick use when he befriends Joey and Taya? Shit. <laughs> it's on the tip of my tongue. Ah, uh, he did have a fake name, didn't he? Yeah. It, it was Ruben, I think. It wasn't Ruben. <laughs> Ruben. Multiple choice. Yeah, let's get multiple choice. This is gonna give it to you guys. I know, because well, I know what's on the for okay. multiple as choice. Well, as soon as I hear it, I'll know what it is. Alright, is it Manu, Nehru, Miro, or Namu. This should make it easy. It was four of them? That's weird. Well, yeah, multiple choice will always have four. Or should oh. always have four. All right. One, two, three. I think it's A, Namu. Namu. Wait, sorry. Okay, what? You think it's... Namu. I'm assuming it was Namu. A. Okay. I put Namu. The answer is Namu. Okay. Yeah. Or Namu was the last one that I said. Oh. I so do. I'm right. sorry. Yeah, no, you get the point. But you you're, said you're Namu, good. but uh, uh, yeah. yeah. So uh, that's why I was asking you, like, is that what you meant it to be? Okay, cool. You got both the point. So currently, Alec has three. Larry, Larry has seven. And yeah. I knew it was something like simple and dumb, but didn't make sense. Question twelve. During the double duel with Yugi and Kaiba against Loomis and Umbra, what card does Umbra play to negate the cost of paying life points for Mask of Brutality? There's a card that he plays, and it allows him to negate the life point cost of Mask of Brutality. Why can't we just talk about their boss monsters? <laughs> you okay? His sanity is breaking. Uh, yeah, this, this quiz uh, yeah. is, this is, is broken, great. Alec. I don't know. Try your best. I don't know. Sound it up. Okay. All right. One... Two, three. Oh, Wabaku. Mask of Restrict. You are both wrong. It is Masked Doll. Ah, okay. okay. I think it's a monster that like he's using. It's like a Masked Doll. And it just I, does, lets I him do believe it, it. You believe it? Yeah. It's like, like Naruto? Sure. I thought, I mean, there's so many mask questions you could ask about those two. Like, it's in that duel. There's like Mask of Restrict, Mask didn't, of Brutality. Didn't they, didn't they try to like... They turned on each other and they tried to take off running when they lo knew they were gonna lose. Uh, oh, yeah. they well, the first time they duel them, I think they I like mean, they take off. Made running sure to kill them, so yeah. yeah, they fall into the building or whatever. Yeah, no, they Kyle fell into the shadow realm. Yeah, the shadow yeah, realm. Into my the bad. Realm. Not a, a, they didn't fall to a their forty deaths. foot, a yeah. forty like story fall to their deaths. Yeah. Question thirteen. After Ishizu uses Exchange of the Spirit in her duel against Kaiba, how many cards does he have left in his deck? So Exchange of the Spirit changes the cards in their graveyard yeah, with their deck. deck. And after that, Kaiba has a deck of only <clears throat> X amount of cards left. I wrote some. I do too. Cool. One, two, 
Three. I wrote three. Four. The answer is six. Oh. Which, like, I mean, this is kind of just a, a guess just thing. But no, he does mention, he's like, how can I win with a deck of only six cards? Well, when the six cards are your blue eyes, white dragons. And they break. <laughs> <laughs> Question 14. During Clash in the Colosseum, Yugi versus Kaiba, what's the first monster summoned by each player? So you have to get both of them. <laughs> multiple choice. There is no multiple choice. <laughs> they, they, there's not one. Not, there's not, I would have said no anyway, so but... Good job. Okay, then go ahead and write it. Write the answer. So the first monster Yugi summons, first monster Kaiba summons. I think I know. All right. I might want to change my... No. You can change it? Nope, I'm All not right. going to. One. Two, three. Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. I also wrote Blue Eyes and Dark Magician. You got, those so, are the first monsters they summon. Why did you I, write I, that? Because I... My, the I, answer is Yugi's Queen's Knight and Kaiba's X-Head Cannon. That makes oh, sense. Oh, those make sense. Those, those are, I don't know why I thought I, I, was, I was gonna change my, I gave up. <laughs> I was gonna change my answer to their respective God cards because I know they got them out relatively quickly and it makes sense because that's J Yugi's go-to's with the Queen's Knight King's Knight, Jack's Knight tribute yeah, for Yeah, they both have like a trio And then the of... X-Head Cannon's tribute obelisk. Because I know they destroy nah, themselves and that, they that, don't that, have that them was, That was a good one. That was a good one. Like... Okay. But my mindset was they would have just gotten their boss monsters out quickly. Just like, set the, like hey. like when you, <laughs> I start like, the door and yeah, seven like, more yeah, yeah, like we, we ain't fucking around. Like, we, let's get into this. Question 15. Final oh, question. Final question. Is okay. there any way Alec can win this? There's statistically no possibility. Okay. If Alec gets this right. I hate no, I don't, I don't like it. Here's what we'll do. If Alec gets this right, he will get points equal. It's a number based question. So if he gets it right, he'll get points equal to the number that he answers. If he gets it what right. About me? But if I get it and wrong. And if you get it right, then you can also get oh, it right. That's not fair. Wait, that because means I can lose it on points. one thing. I mean, he has to get it right still. Yeah. We're I just mean, upping the stakes for if he gets it right. But I'm not going to get it right. If so. not, we can just cut the BS and Santa. Man, that's right. some BS. All right, here's the question. Let's just end I'll this let, quiz. I'll let you guys decide after you hear the question. Question 15. During the final duel between Yugi and Merrick, how many life points is Merrick left with after he takes a direct attack oh from Obelisk the Tormentor? From Obelisk? He takes a direct attack from Obelisk the Tormentor, and he has a certain amount of life points left. So what I was proposing was, if you get it right, you get like points equal to th that amount. Like if it's say like 1300, which by the way isn't the answer, then you would get like 13 points. Oh wait, they didn't have 8,000 life points to start with. And it's a bit of a tricky one because all but kind of 4,000 attack points. And they only start with 4,000 life points, so. All right. This is a fun question, but golly, I wouldn't know it. All right. I wrote something down. Ready? Yeah. You can take multiple choice if you guys want. No. No, let's just, let's just do this. All right. I know y'all are both wrong. <laughs> okay, go ahead. One, two, don't, three. Wait, okay. wait. Don't give us I the answer 3, yet. I put 3,900. I put 50 slash one. I'm cheating because I remember at the end of the duel, they had separated Merrick's soul. The evil one has like... Because he was fading away his good half as his life points went down. And it was all the way down to it, like, and then they switched places to it was just the eye of the evil one yeah. left. And I know, like, he either had, like, 50 life points or one. He was down to his last one. And then, because good Merrick switched places, good Merrick just quit. And then yeah, that was conceives. the end of it. Yeah. But I don't know if he had, if his life points were down off the obelisk attack. That's the only thing I don't know. Yeah, that was not the obelisk attack. Well, was... shit. The answer is 700 life points. Ah. Oh, okay. Yeah, Obelisk taps him directly, but before then, Merrick had been doing something to gain life points. I don't remember what. Cool. Oops. So, like, if Alec had gotten that right, he'd get seven points. Dang. But he did not. So, that concludes the quiz. The final result is Larry oh. wins with seven points to Alex three. Congratulations, Larry. Fun quiz. You did good, kid. No, I didn't. Good. And shout out to Pricefield Punk for submitting. No, the quiz. no shout out. That was a hard ass quiz. <laughs> it was very difficult. I, that's a that's a Paul quiz right there. I, 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 I can't. I hang. wouldn't have gotten any better. At I can't hang. Barely any better. I don't think. Well, guys, that was our that, that, Battle City Duelist Kingdom. That quiz. was as fun as being awake for your own brain surgery. I mean, <laughs> it was. I mean, it was fun. 
just because I'd never imagined how difficult the questions it could was, be. It was as fun as I imagined a BDSM relationship if you're not into that. Like it was it was no, a good it was time. as fun as playing a Dark Souls game. That's a matter of opinion. But if you guys if you enjoy quizzes like this, then uh, you can actually check out our last one where I did a lot better. Did, did you? I did. I was did. A, was the quiz easier or harder? The, compared to this one, it was easier. Probably easier. It, it was easier. <laughs> yeah. But um, if you can make a better quiz, in your opinion, or if you can make a different quiz, then go ahead and hit the link in the description and give us some yeah, it could be 15 anime, questions. Anime, TCG. Anime, TCG. How, how are you going to get your win back, though? You like 0 and 2. I am 0 and 2, but it's only a matter of time before someone makes the quiz that where I dominate. Why don't you make the quiz? Because then it would be my You have to make it for us. Yeah. I guess. So guys, uh, we'll see you guys in the next one. As always, past turn, have a good day and a lovely tomorrow. And remember guys, download Raid Shadow Legends using the QR code or my link in the description.